so hi dear leo a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali taro and this is a journal of reading for all the leo sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from 10 till the 16th of june and um, fourth thing if it is not resonating it's not your story you can just skip the video okay if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same if you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. The link is in the description box for the same. It has the power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start, Leo. Let's see. Your personal or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see. We have the ace of wands okay someone is feeling like someone is thinking a lot about you and feeling like having some kind of like taking some kind of initiative in this direction let me clarify this ace of wands in order to get a clear picture here exactly what's happening We have the seven of swords, the seven of swords and king of swords. My goodness. Wow. Someone is feeling like they should uh, show you that they don't care about you. But at the same time, they feel like it's a lie. Someone is trying to pretend that they don't care about you. This person is thinking a lot about you. Continuously 24 into 7, this person is thinking a lot about you. But this person is feeling like is feeling like they should not show it to you at all. They are lying to themselves. This person is lying to themselves about uh, not being bothered by not being, with, not being with you anymore. And they feel like this lie is their truth. My goodness. If it is making any sense to you, this person is trying to cheat on themselves with this fact that I don't care about you anymore. But at the same time, they can't stop thinking about you. And they feel like having some, uh, ha they feel like taking some kind of action in this direction. Like, you know, making, uh, making amends with you or fixing things with you or whatever the case may be. But at the same time, they feel like, why should I show uh, Leo that uh, I care for them? Why should I show them to that? Why should, like, wow. It's like uh, being very egoistic and prideful. Being in this energy of, I don't give a damn about Leo, but they do. They, they can't stop thinking about you. My goodness. What an, okay, anyway, let's see. Let's see, what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side? For some of you, you block this person out of nowhere and they feel like they should get to know the truth about you. They feel like, well, what can they do to know the truth about the situation? Okay, they feel like, uh, betrayed by you for others of you they feel like they should not show you uh, like any kind of emotion at all even if they can't stop thinking about you let's see what this person feels for you what are the what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side leo let's see ten of pentacles i think uh, it's not about this person i think leo it's about you it's about you taking care of yourself your family your family kind of dynamic creating a stable kind of future for yourself your money your job your career your own stability. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Fool card, the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Right. You feel like uh, taking the leap of faith with the universe and enjoying your life as much as you can. You feel like talking to multiple people, having fun with multiple people, having, you know... Uh, I think right now you are in this energy of not taking life or people or situations or connections too seriously. You have this idea of having a stable base kind of a connection with, uh, with somebody in the future. But as of now, you feel like living your life to the fullest and having fun as much as you can. Exploring people, exploring connections, exploring things and having a good life for yourself. Taking care of yourself as much as you can. You are going through a major, major transformation right now. And this transformation is telling you to love your life to the fullest and live your life to the fullest. And leave to the leave uh, rest on the universe. Although you feel like you should have a stable base, you know, but right now you're focused on yourself and taking care of yourself, uh, yourself and having fun with your life. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them?
seven of pentacles their intention is to wait and watch their intention is to like uh, keep watching you from a distance according to them they can't do anything so they are like okay let me see let me watch leo from a distance this is the right thing to do <laughs> okay let's clarify the seven of pentacles We have the seven of cups the ace of pentacles the eight of pentacles wow this person wants to wait for the time and they will be able to come forward towards you with some kind of stable offer they are they're trying to find out ways to reconnect with you in a stable manner okay they want to just wait and watch for like from you from a distance and they want to come towards you only when they are going to find out some kind of way to come forward towards you and offer you something solid what is wrong what is happening this person's vibes are very off what is wrong you tell me leo what is wrong see this person is having other options this person is deliberately keeping their options open but they want to come forward towards you when they are going to explore other options too when they are going to be like okay i have explored other options now i can go forward towards leo because i think they are the best one out of these and meanwhile they're making plans also to come forward towards you with something stable on the table if things are not going to work out with the other energies my goodness leave this person and never look back leo please they want to hold on to this energy of okay we are going to reconnect again in coming future everything is going to be fine this that but let me explore other things too before uh, i go forward towards leo Let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side, Leo. You just want to move forward. You just want to, you know, right now you just want to stand still and keep moving forward. Physically, keeping move, keep moving forward. energetically you are in this energy of okay let me let me just stand still let me just stay still and let's see where the universe is going to you know uh, make me go let me clarify the three of wands we have the tower the five of cups and the four of swords see you just want to heal yourself you know you just don't want to rush into any kind of relationship rush into any kind of connection rush into any kind of situation ship you just want to heal yourself as much as you can because you are coming out of a tower moment you are coming out of a breakup or separation or something came out to light that shook uh, like uh, shook your entire energy field and you are like now i just want a space for myself now i just need to heal myself properly so basically physically you are moving on energetically you are standing still and healing yourself properly before you can jump into any kind of connection or situation next like even if it is friendship kind of a deal right now you are creating boundaries where you are not allowing people to cross that boundary mm -hmm. not even to your friends let's see what's coming towards you till the 16th of june end of sword something is going to end here this is the end of a chapter here leo this is the end of some kind of chapter here someone is going to see this as a huge loss but this is what it is i cannot change it let's clarify the ten of swords okay just give me a second honey i have to pick up those cards we have the 9 of cups the magician and the two of wands someone is manifesting this connection back in their life but this is the end of this chapter with this particular person between you and them uh, at least for the timing this is over so someone is manifesting this energy of let's see what we can do uh, someone is manifesting this connection back in their life in the coming future they are like i want this connection back because it's my wish fulfillment it's my happiness so with this connection someone's happiness is also gone and they are manifesting are coming together are coming back together in the coming future as of now this person is not taking any kind of initiative they are not uh, doing anything much about it because they are busy doing their own shitty things i'm sorry to say if you are a cross watcher and doing this 
I I think you just are the worst kind of a person if you're doing this to Leo. If not, just ignore this comment of mine. But this is bullshit. And Leo is doing doing the right thing by letting it go. Now, if Leo is doing this thing with somebody else, I think Leo, you have to face the karma some in some way, shape, or form in the near future. But anyways, I do see this is the end of a chapter and somebody someone trying to manifest you back in their life slowly but surely. This is the outcome here. Not much happening in the on the physical level, but a lot is happening in the energetic field. And a lot of uh, things are changing okay now let's see let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation Leo you know it right you don't need the guidance here but anyway let me see the Sun the strength eight of wands talk it out talk it out talk it out these are your cards only the Sun and the strength both are Leo cards okay and the eight of wands the more you are going to vent it out out of your system whether it's uh, to your friend or a healer or a therapist or a counselor or whosoever you feel like talking to just vent it out whatever you're going through this painful energies this change this shift this transformation it's not easy it's not easy right and it is something that's that's changing your life uh, inside out and you're kind of feeling the shift you're kind of feeling the pain the fe feeling the pain of the transformation pain of the change okay everything is changing very fastly like around you so talk it out you might be getting anxious you might be getting nervous you might be getting this feeling of what the hell is going on why things are uh, you know changing so fastly for me what's wrong and what should i do just talk it out you know talking it out venting it out and communicating with other people uh, with other energies about uh, your um, insecurities and about feeling what you are feeling is not a bad thing it's actually a good thing it's, it's it takes a lot of courage and strength as a person to do that and you are strong enough to you know do that so just do it leo just do it okay honey so yeah thank you so much for tuning in leo i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste